What's up guys? Welcome to today's episode of Big South Outdoors TV. I'm sharpening blades. Uh, there's countless thousands of videos on YouTube of people sharpening blades, but uh, I wanted to do something a little different with this. Um, Brian's lawn maintenance, uh, in the, he, he's out in the Midwest. Uh, he did a video back in 2019 uh, explaining the differences between different soils and how they affect blades well i've got i'm sharpening these blades these are copperhead blades these are the commercial line of copperheads these blades have literally one week of of sharp of running on them and you see how dull that blade is this with the region i live in is called the sand hills and sandy soil absolutely destroys a set of blades um, these have not been sharpened yet I'm getting ready to sharpen them and when we put them in on the mower first thing in the morning because we've got a lot of grass to cut tomorrow and the blades I'm gonna do a little short of the blades I'm gonna take off and show you what one week of cutting in sandy conditions does to blades but anyway uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get started sharpening now I sharpen freehand. I've been doing freehand sharpening for probably 21 years now. 20, 21 years, somewhere along in there. I'm considering, I'm weighing my options, considering buying an all-American sharpener. Um, I see it's more accurate. It's, it's a little costly, but it's not necessarily a cost, it's an investment. Uh, I buy a new set of blades every week and if, if you're in this business you know that gets really really expensive so I'm I'm weighing my options leave me a comment in the comments below in the section below and let me know if you have used the all-american blade sharpener and what you think about it and what you think about me buying one if you think it's a good investment uh, if you think it's a good idea or a bad idea, but I'm going to sharpen these blades freehand and let you see the results So let's get started, but before we get into it Make sure and hit the like button if you'd be enjoying the content of this video Click that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and when you do that hit that notification bell So you don't miss any content. Let's get into it just for good measure Always wear safety glasses That side done. I don't know how close that is to 30 degrees, but that's pretty dang close. She's sharp now, both ways. All right, on to number three.
One thing I want to point out real quick. You see the length of that cutting edge? You see how shallow it is right there? In order to get a true 30 or close to 30 degrees on this blade, you have to grind that area back just a little bit so you'll have enough material there to get your 30 degree edge. Just wanted to point that out. Now we got the sharpening done. Grinder sat out of the way here. Now we're gonna do, I'm gonna pick up my, the first blade I sharpen. A board or a trailer edge or any kind of straight flat surface is a good way to check the balance. A lot of guys use those things you slide up in there like that and balance the blade and that's okay I'm not knocking that at all it's just I've never done that I've always done it like this because the blade rides on a bolt what I do I put it like that and I pick it up really slowly and it tilts it down just just a bit on that side and that tells me that it's a little too heavy on this side so and I just freehand it. And I take some of the material off and I try it again. Now, the side I ground now is on this end. So, you can't get no better than that. Now, the next one. Try that again. Just a shade heavy on this end. I'll take my grinder. And guys, little is much. It does not take much to to uh, balance a blade. There you go, you see how that blade come up straight? One more time. And it ain't gotta be perfect, but it does have to be close, because if, you, if it's not close, you turn them blades on, it'll they'll start vibrating. And when you've got a vibrating blade, it won't last any time at all. That one don't need nothing. It's dead on the money. So that's how I sharpen blades. Uh, that's just the freehand style. These blades are still warm. But as you can see, if you go back in the beginning of the video, these blades were very rusty. Uh, as you can see, they're not now. And they are, they might be a little more than 30 degrees, but not by much. But they are sharp. I mean, they are steak knife sharp. There's no burrs on the bottom of them. They're nice and sharp, and they ought to cut very, very well. But anyway, uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm thinking about, I'm considering investing in an all-American blade sharpener. If you've had any experience with one of those, uh, those gizmos, if you would, leave me a comment in the, in the comment section below and let me know uh, time. I want to know if it saves time, if it does a better job than freehand. 
and if the edge lasts longer. Um, these blades right here will last, the edge on these blades will last me probably 30 to 40 hours, somewhere along in there. So let me know in the comments below uh, what you found if you use the All-American. But anyway, this is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV. Guys, I want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I'm four subscribers away from 300. Uh, I want to get to 300 before... I'd like to be at 300 before this time tomorrow afternoon. But, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, um, be sure and hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. And when you do, click that notification bell so you don't miss any content. This is Brian with Big South Outdoors TV saying live big, live southern, and no matter how hot and humid it is outside, live outdoors. Have a good day, folks.